Hey, what's happening everyone? Journeyman here and welcome back to my FIFA 18 career mode with Coventry City. So in today's episode we have three games. First, Newport County in the league and then I believe we play Arsenal in the League Cup followed by Yeovil Town uh, for the last match of the episode. But we do have some exciting news. We did sign our first ever player, and uh, his name is Ibrahima Conte. Now, he is a centre-half. Yep, another centre-half. We're absolutely loaded full of centre-halves, but he was highly recommended from a friend of mine uh, that I should sign him. And honestly, he looks like a pretty decent player. You know, he's only 21 years old. Um, I signed him on a three-year deal, and um, just he looks a pretty solid player, but he's not going to break into my first team because he's not quite as good as Willis and McDonald. So I have to keep an eye on his growth and development uh, as the seasons progress and also going into today's game as Newport I've decided to put Bevan back in instead of one second sorry uh, I decided to put Bevan back in ahead of uh, Nazon uh, just because I wasn't really happy with uh, what Nazon can do and honestly I've got better options around us and I feel like Bevan Given the opportunity, he could actually be really good for us. He's got some really, really good attributes, especially like jumping 92, stamina 90. Pretty fast as well, and for especially for a guy his age, 33 years old. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna give him a we're gonna give him a go. Uh, see what happens, and uh, we'll make a decision from there. All right, so here we are just for the game against Newport County. Obviously, you are playing at home. Uh, we're still on world class. No changes to the uh, the sliders or anything. So this is the team we're going to go with. Kelly also comes in the team ahead of Michael Doyle. Um, Doyle was just, I feel like he's just too slow. So instead, I'm going to play Kelly. Uh, just add a little bit of height and strength in the midfield. Here's a chance for Andrea early on. Ooh, good defend in there. Andrea, here's Bevan. Bevan shoots. Oh, good save there from the keeper. Decent build-up play. Good start to the game so far. Five minutes in and we created a really good opportunity. Bevan tried to tuck it home. It was a good effort in the end and the keeper did comfortably save it. Let's see if we can do something from this corner. Balls whipped in. Someone win it. Get in there! What a header! Who was that? That was Vicente, of course it was. Who else would it be apart from Peter Vicente? That's his four for the season. What a header that was. I'll take another look at this uh, this replay here. Great corner, whipped in. Vicente rose highest and found the back of the net. 1-0 to the mighty Sky Blue Army. Oh, here's Bevan. He's through on goal. Let's see if he can beat his man. He's going to pull it back here. Here's a chance for Bevan. Bevan shoots. Oh, and he smacks off the back of a defender. Defender didn't really know what hit him. And that was unlucky. It was a good build-up play. And Bevan almost got his first of the season. Here's Andre, who's been actually pretty like, disappointing so far this season. I felt like he was going to be a key player, but every time I seem to try and use him in a particular way, he loses the ball. Here's Bevan. Oh, good effort there. Oh, here's a chance for Bevan. He gets it. He scores. Gets in there. Great pressure there from Jody Jones. 2-0 to Coventry City. And Bevan gets himself on the score sheet. Great play there from Jody Jones with the assist, though. Winning that ball back inside the opposition penalty area. Pulls it back and a great, great finish there from Bevan. Maybe got a little bit lucky going underneath the keeper there. But nevertheless, it all counts the same. 2-0 to the Sky Blue Army. Oh, here's a chance for Newport County straight away. He shoots, and that's a great finish. I think it's Joe Quigley who got the goal there. Nah, that was a fantastic finish. Awful defending, though. Didn't concentrate from the uh, kickoff, and they uh, pull one back straight away. We'll take another look at this. Great through ball, and honestly, it was a fantastic finish. Burge had no chance in goal. All right, the edge of the area here. Someone's got to close Noble down. He shoots and scores 2-2. Fucking awful defending. Absolutely atrocious. Yes, I know you're very happy with yourself. I mean, Grimer just missed the challenge there and it left uh, Noble with the easiest task to put it away. Look at Vicente at the back post. Ooh. Almost got a late goal here in the first half. Let's see if we can do this. Uh, let's see if we do it again. We did it earlier. Let's do front post. Run for Chente. Oh, who is? Oh, that was a fantastic header there. From uh, Beaven. Which I've just learned how to pronounce his name. Let's try that again. Front post. 
Raise. Oh, come on. Unlucky. All right, so very entertaining first half, 2-2. Two, two. Um, really should be winning the game, though, uh, if it wasn't for my poor defending efforts. All right, here's Beaven here. He's got passes right back. He's got support in the box. See if he can find someone. Cross it in near post for Jody Jones. Oh, unlucky. Oh, through ball. Noble's one on one. He's turned his man, shoots and finds a back in the net with absolute beauty. Fucking asshole. Great finish there from Frank Noble. 3 2 to Newport County. I mean, solid build to play, but terrible defending again. This time he turned uh, McDonald, I think, and uh, just tuck it, uh, tucked it into the far corner. Too easy for Frank Noble. That's his second goal of the game and second goal of the season. All right, here's Vicente. He's got Beaven in the box. Can't find him, though. All right, Jody Jones. Here's Stevenson. It's a, it's a Beaven in the edge. Yeah, it shoots. Beaven. Oh. Oh. Good block there from the defender. All right. A change had to be made to try and get back in this game. Support so off Andrea, who has honestly been absolute shite. So uh, we're going to take. Uh, we're going to bring on Mark McNulty. Because you know what? I haven't seen much of him. And uh, why not give him a bit of a run out? That's a great header. Vicente's through on goal if you can find him. But he doesn't have the pace and the legs to get away from his man. That's the only criticism I've got of Vicente so far. Doesn't really have any sort of real pace. And for a winger, it's not ideal. Oh, shit. Here's a chance for Newport. Oh, and he absolutely made a mess of that one. All right. Time to make another change. Let's bring off Jody Jones. We're going to bring on Carl Reed instead. Not sure what it's going to do for us. But uh, I thought, why not? Got a bit more natural. Carl Reed is a bit more of a left winger. Let's get Reed on the ball straight away and see if he can beat his man. Oh, and he does so beautifully. He's going to cut back. There we go. Look for Beacon to get in the box. Great cross. Oh, what a header. Get in there, Mark McNulty. That was a fantastic finish there. What a goal. What an introduction from Mark McNulty. Great ball there to near post. And McNulty just threw himself at the ball. It is 3-3 again. But what a headed finish. Top finish from that man there. Making me look like an absolute tactical genius for bringing him on. Carl does read as well to win the ball back. But he gives it away cheaply. Here's another chance for Newport here. At the edge of the area. He's got a... Oh no, he's gone by us all. And he's absolutely missed a sitter. I thought that was curtains for us there. Should have been 4-3. Here's Frank Noble looking for his hat-trick. He finds Quigley. He got the opening goal for uh, Newport. And he gives it away cheaply. The ball's going to be played long. Oh, it's a great touch. It's a beautiful touch. Ah, oh, McNulty. Stronger than that, son. All right, that's pretty much going to be it now, I think. Two minutes out of time are pretty much over with as we boot the ball forward to no one. Yep, there it is. A uh, very, very entertaining 3-3 draw. I uh, really should have got something more out of the game, though. I mean, our poor defending really, really let us down. Uh, but nevertheless, very pleasing stuff. Surprising. Obviously, Vicente scoring again. Uh, Bivon getting his first goal of the season. And a great header finish there for Mark McNulty. Making it uh, one hell of a game for the neutral. All right, this is something interesting happening. We just got an offer for Kyle Reed from uh, Millwall for £420,000. Now, he is 29 years old. He's on a hell of a lot of wage for our level, 4600 Um So this is an offer I feel like I should accept. I maybe make Jody Jones my main left winger and then maybe train one of the young guys. I think, I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, Obviously, Stokes right now is on discussions as well with uh, Shrewsby for a little bit of money. And then the other ones I've uh, basically just put up for a transfer and loan. Kelly Evans didn't want to accept that one because I feel he's got a bit of potential. A 20-year-old, 60-year-old, 60 overall. And then uh, Ponticelli, um, I accepted a loan offer, but he rejected a move to Crew. So that's basically all the updates we have so far on the uh, transfer front. Okay, but we have a small uh, issue now. We're playing against Arsenal at the Emirates uh, on World Class. I expect us to get absolutely annihilated, but I've kept the same team uh, that got a 3 3 draw against Newport County. So uh, we'll go with consistency and hope for the best. Oh, cheap giveaway there. And somehow we're going to try and play, away, uh, play ourselves out of trouble. Uh, Jody. 
Yeah, I can already tell this is going to be a really, really, really tough game. I mean, understatement of the year. We are playing Arsenal. Here's Alexis Sanchez. Terrible ball. Speaking of terrible ball, there it was as one itself. Here's Danny Welbeck. Shoots. Oh, and what a save from Burge. And we can't put it from going over the corner. But great save there from Lee Burge. As uh, Danny Welbeck tested him from about 25 yards out. Oh, here's uh, Bellarabi. Pulls it back. Oh, and looking for Cochrane, I think. That's, oh, great challenge of the box. But tell you what, we're scrapping away. And there's a chance. It's going to be a goal. There it is. I'll tell you what, we did all we could there to try and block every single shot Arsenal put out. But unfortunately, the ball fell very, very kindly in the box for uh, El Eleni. I think it's about his name. I never actually remembered how to pronounce his name. But we did everything we possibly could. And uh, unfortunately, he got a little bit lucky. Found himself six yards out and he really couldn't miss from there. Oh, this could get absolutely embarrassing. Sanchez to Hector Bellerin. Bellerin's found the runner well back. He turns his man. He crosses it in the back post. And Grimmer gets well to get across. It's the first time on the volley there, I think, from Sanchez. And uh, we're lucky to get away with that one, too. All right, here's Welbeck. Here's Welbeck again. He gets in the box. And oh, what a goal that is from Danny Welbeck. Keeper could do absolutely nothing. But uh, that was a stunning, stunning strike. I've got to take another look at that. That was a beautiful first-time finish. Oh, Nenny again involved in the goal. And a first-time effort there. Caught Lee Burge, I think, off by guard. But I don't think it would have mattered anyway. Even if he was ready for it. That was just a fantastic goal from Danny Wilbeck. And it is 2-0 to Arsenal. Oh, here's Beaver. Maybe a chance to get one back. Shoots from distance. Oh, good save there from David Espina. Well, we got a shot on target. So that's something to celebrate, I suppose. Oh, here's Beaver. And look at the turn. Finds Kelly at the edge of the area. And he's going to look to Haynes. Here's Beaven again. Shoots a distance. Oh, what an effort that was from Beaven. So, so very close to pulling the goal back. Espina scrambling across his goal, but unfortunately was not on target. Oh, here's Beaven. He's through on goal. He's beat Bowler. Bowler does well to get back, and he goes out for a corner. Let's see if we can make the most of it. We get a goal now. Uh, could make things interesting for the uh, second half. Jones is going to whip this in. Look for Beaven. Oh. Rosewell on target. That's all we can ask for there. And a decent save there for Ospina. All right. Going into the second half here. 2-0 down isn't actually that bad. I mean, keep in mind, there's a League Cup. I didn't really expect to get very far in this competition. So the uh, end result doesn't really matter too much. Uh, what I've done now is actually made a couple changes. I bought on Carl Reed. Uh, to play left midfield. Jones has gone to the right. And then I've also brought on Conte for his debut. All right, Beavens through on goal. He shoots. Oh, that was a great save for Ospina. Good player from Kyrie to send uh, Beaven through. And uh, first time shot from Beaven. And Ospina does very, very well to get a hand to it. We're going to go near post again. Balls whipped in. And Ospina gets off his line and does very well to uh, clear the... Uh, Clear the dangerous cross. Oh, here's Sanchez streaming forward here. Has got much support, but he's found Bellarabi. He's turned his man. Takes on Conte. Right, Beaven finds Jones. Jones twisting and turning. He's going to lay it off to Liam Kelly instead. Right, here's Reed. Reed's oh, he's been also he's a uh, could this could be his last game for the club. As the offer was accepted. Here's Andreo. Andre oh if Reed was just awake there, he would have had a clear run on goal. And speaking of Reed, I think he's picked up a knock. We might have to bring him off.
Here's Beaven. Oh, great save there for Mospina. I tell you what, though, he's been an absolute live wire, despite his uh, despite his age. He's actually played really, really well today. Right, balls whipped in a near post. Oh, great header! Oh, that was unlucky. Andrea almost got himself the first goal of the season. Uh, unfortunately, Karu did pick up a knock, so he's going to have to come off. We're going to bring on Nazan to play left midfield instead. Not really a natural role for him, but I'm sure he could do a solid job. Here's uh, Lacazette. You know, when things couldn't get worse, to bring off uh, Danny Wilbrick and bring on Alexander Lacazette instead. You know, just, uh, just to rub things in my face. All right, so in the box, and Coughlin shoots straight at Lee Burge. Oh, here's Lacazette. He's through... And there was never a doubt as soon as he got in the box there and turned on defender uh, who was going to make it 3-0. Great finish there from Lacazette. And that's pretty much wrapped up the tie now. Oh, here's a chance. Oh, good effort there from uh, Kelly. Trying to blast that. I think that was going in too. That was a great block from uh, Bola, I think his name is. I was going to whip it in. Oh. Kante found himself the uh, right side of the defender, but he couldn't direct his header at goal. Uh, 89 minutes here, and uh, Lacazette's looking to make it 4-0. Uh, good block there from Kante. But can't win it back, and ooh. Bellarabi blasted over from the edge of the area. All right, full-time whistle has blown. Unfortunately, it's ended with a 3-0 defeat at Arsenal, so it's not really uh, much of a surprise, however. I kind of felt like they would... Uh, Demolish us, but uh, I mean There were some fantastic goals in there, especially from uh, Danny Welbeck. That was an absolute screamer the goal in the 27th minute All right, so got a bit of a transfer news here, so um, Essentially Crow Alexander coming for a 270,000 pound bid for Chris Stokes um, What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to negotiate that so I'm gonna take you into the transfer screen Um Honestly, these transfer screens are actually kind of annoying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock it up to around about 320. So basically what I accepted from Shrewsbury. Um, we'll have to see what they come back with here. Um, and they're willing to give me for in 20,000 pounds. That's fine. I can live with that. That's exactly what I want for him. Um, I'm very happy with Haynes, to be honest with you. Stokes is a good player, but I feel like Haynes uh, is actually a bit better for how we play. And unfortunately, because of Reed's injury, he's going to be out for a few more days. So he's not available for today's fixture. So instead, uh, we're going to play one of our younger talents. Um... I actually do Kelly Evans. Kelly Evans was rated highly for an apparently my assistant manager and a few of you out there. He's actually going to make a start today ahead of Jones, who's struggling a little bit with stamina. He's played a lot of games lately. Um, everyone else seems pretty okay for now. I'm going to keep an eye on, obviously, our right back. Um, saying that, we could just play Kelly Evans straight. Yeah, let's just do that anyway. Let's do Kevy. Let's do Evans straight. All right, so um, also we got some good news midweek. Uh, Willis got up to a 67 through training, and Stevenson went up to a 65. Um, so both of them are showing excellent progression uh, in training and on the pitch. So I'm pretty sure those two will be um, very established players for years to come for us, and uh, I will definitely be trying to improve them every single week. All right, so here we are playing Yeovil Town away from home. Uh, try and go back to winning ways, obviously, after that 3-3 draw against Newport and then that 3-0 defeat against Arsenal. Obviously, I'd like to keep it below three goals today. That'd be awesome. Hopefully, we can do it. All right, here's Beaven. Early chance. Oh, what a goal that is. Within two minutes of the game, Stuart Beaven... Getting the goals. I think his name is Stuart. I can't remember what his first name was. Anyway, Beaven getting a goal. Great finish there. Uh, this really, really, really fantastic finish from distance. Did not expect that to go in. And the Yovo fans are rightfully so very disgruntled at how their team has started. Let's take another look at this. Yeah, ball to the FIFA Andrea. Beaven edged him on the defender. And passed him and straight past the goalkeeper. Easy peasy. 1-0 to the Sky Blue Army. It is Stuart Beaver. There you go. Got something right today. Oh, here's Vicente. He's got Kelly Evans on the overlap. Kelly Evans making his first start of the season. Goes by his man. 
Cross in, looking for Beaven, can't find him. Clay's clean catch, but decent build-up play from the young uh, right back. There's a chance for Yeovil, they're building it up very, very well. Here's uh, Zoko, T twisting and turning, gets in the box, shoots and harmlessly wide. Terrible effort there from the striker, did so well until the finish. Right, here's Beaven, he's turned his man beautifully. He's going to look for Andre, who's through and goal. Oh, what a challenge that was. Andre had a clean shot on goal there until the defender came across and made an absolute a wonderful save and tackle. Our ball's been in the back post. We do well to kind of clear it. Well, the ball's gone back in and it's 2, it's 1-1. One, one. Unfortunately, Willis has got himself hurt here. So he's going to have to come off. Uh, obviously, he hurt in that play. Um, so Kante should be there. Yep, Kante's going to come in, obviously. Natural replacement. But nevertheless, very disappointing way to concede because, you know, what? we've been dominating and we just couldn't get that ball clear. And it was just too much of an easy finish there for James Bailey. Oh, here's Beaven on his left peg. Oh, and what a goal from Stuart Beaven. I tell you what, this guy has been absolutely on fire this episode. And what a finish, this time with his left foot. So he's got one of his right, one of his left. And what a strike that was. Keeper had absolutely no chance. What a finish there from the 33-year-old superstar. Now here's Vicente. Let's see what he can do. See if he can work his magic. He turns on his left foot. Oh, and puts it over. Decent effort there for Peter Vicente. It's been a little bit quiet last couple games. Well, except for that goal, I suppose, in the first match. All right, halftime whistle has blown. We are winning 2-1. Obviously, uh, two cracking goals there from Stuart Beaven has given us the lead. Um, as you know, as a player's fitness levels are looking a little bit shady, so I may have to make some changes in the second half. We'll just have to keep an eye on the stamina. Ball's put in. Oh, and Andrea, if you just turned around, you freaking idiot, you would have had a chance on goal. Oh, decent build-up play, though. Oh, here's Kelly Evans. He's going to have a dink. And that was terrible. Oh, and Note to self, never shoot with him again. All right, we talked about having to make some changes. It's about uh, about 15 minutes left to go in the game itself. We're going to have to make a couple changes here because we're just really, really tiled. Um, both Kelly Evans are struggling out there, but they don't play very often, so I'm going to keep them on. Uh, we're going to bring off Stevenson for Boyle. Uh, we do have Stokes on the bench. Yeah, I'm going to bring him on. And then I think, yeah, unfortunately I ran out of subs because it has been Conte on, I remember now. All right, so there's a couple of changes. Hopefully we'll see us through for the rest of the game. We may have the switch. And you know what? I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to switch to a more uh, defensive system just to try and hold on to this lead because it would be good to get back to winning ways before the uh, episode is over. Oh, here's a chance. Oh, it's straight up Burge. Oh, here's a chance for Yeovil at the end. Oh, off the post. Someone get it clear. Thank fuck for that. Jeez, that was far too close to my liking. Alright, is Oko okay getting the box going? Someone get there. Oh! Backed off him too far, too, too much. It invited the shot. Hoping for a chance to get slid in, but I just couldn't get there. And we were very, very lucky to get away with that. I'm tempted to switch to uh, ultra defensive, and I think I might do that. There's only a couple minutes left in this game, so I'm actually I'm going to do that. Um, let's just, just keep the ball. Just keep the ball. Here's Beaven, though. Maybe a hat trick. Let's seal it. He shoots. So oh, and it flicks off a defender. It goes out for a corner. All right, looking at near post for Vicente. Oh, almost found Conte at the back post with the flick on. So we've got to get back now. We've got to get back. It's only two minutes of added on time. And there it is, full-time whistle, 2-1 winners over Yeovil. Very, very happy with that result. Good to get back to winning ways. And obviously, we remain unbeaten now in League 2. All right, so with those results in mind, this is where we currently sit, second in the table behind Crew Alexandra, uh, with three wins, one draw, scored eight, conceded four, and things are going really, really well for us. Obviously, except the fact that we can't actually... Um, 
<laughs> I can't actually find any players to sign. Um, but yeah, we're still working on it. Still trying to bring some players in. Everyone I've been interested in, that's going to improve the squad. Just hasn't been willing to relocate uh, right now. But we'll keep striving to better this team. Again, if you have any suggestions on players that you think I should take a look at, please let me know in the comments below. Um, but that's really about it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you did, remember to drop a like on the video. And if you want to see more videos by me, uh, hit subscribe and turn those notifications on. And uh, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next part. Goodbye, everyone.